Hello, and thanks for tuning in to this Bell Follow the Wire video for our OEM customers and their partners. In this segment, we're going to discuss the transition underway in the modern data center from SCSI-based storage communications to NVMe over fabrics. Inside the data center continues to evolve, and this includes the storage networking world. SSDs are now used for internal storage and servers, replacing the older, slower uh, hard disk drives. Now, these SSDs are memory class storage devices that improve performance, but they use non-volatile memory express, or NVMe, as the communication language. Now, soon, those same faster NVMe SSDs started showing up in the hybrid or flash disk arrays. Now, in the storage network, however, the language was still SCSI, so there's a translation that has to occur between the SCSI and the NVMe language, and that's happening in the flash disk array and also at the host computer. The problem is this transition slows down the processing. It adds latency, and that can somewhat negate the performance benefits customers are expecting by moving to the faster uh, all-flash or hybrid flash uh, storage arrays. So because of this, the storage network needs to transition as well to be able to support end-to-end -end NVMe communications. That's what we're going to talk about in this video, the transition from SCSI-based storage fabrics to NVMe over fabrics. NVMe isn't new. It's been widely adopted to improve storage performance with SSDs and other memory-based storage inside PCs and servers for years. What's happening now, though, is that customers want to take advantage of that performance of NVMe, but they want to do it at scale across a storage fabric. In addition to performance, they reap the benefits of improved efficiency of the storage network that NVMe provides. And they also want to reduce the burden on the host CPU by leveraging offloads and more efficient NVMe protocol. NVMe was originally designed to communicate from the CPU mem and memory across the PCIe bus to solid state drives, or otherwise called flash or NAND storage inside the server. But the PCIe bus does not scale across distance and it's really hard to get outside the server. Today, NVMe storage is being embraced by all the major storage vendors and it's specifically designed as a streamlined protocol to deliver low latency access to flash or SSD storage. Now in storage arrays, NVMe drives are becoming the standard to connect flash storage to servers, replacing older SAS, SATA, and SCSI based drives. Now customers want to be able to obtain the performance advantages of the NVMe SSD storage, but they want to be able to share the high performance across a network. And this can be achieved by transferring or encapsulating the NVMe protocol across those storage fabrics. Typical choices can be either Ethernet fabric or a fiber channel SAN fabric. There are three primary choices for NVMe over fabric transports available when it comes to NVMe over fabrics. The first is FC or, or fiber channel over NVMe. For existing fiber channel SAN customers, this will be the go-to option because there's little if any change required to their existing fiber channel SAN environment. Their investment in enhanced 16 gig, 32 gig, or 64 gig infrastructure enables them to seamlessly add FC NVMe connectivity. HBAs like the Marvell QLogic technology will support concurrent fiber channel SCSI and FC NVMe communications using a single unified firmware and driver set. Next is leveraging the Ethernet transport and network with low latency NVMe over Rocky RDMA. Now, ideally, you want low latency because NV NVMe devices are much faster than legacy hard disk drives. Low latency with Ethernet, though, means using RDMA running over a network that's set up to be lossless with things like data center bridging, priority flow control, and other features enabled. The challenge here is that RDMA-enabled NICs are required, and the lossless Ethernet environment can be difficult to set up and maintain congestion-free. It's also typically limited in scalability to only one or two hops. Now, the, none of these are ideal by any means. And because of the complexity and the limited scale, we see NVMe over Rocky more as a niche approach, and it's really not going to be mainstream solutions uh, in the transition from NVMe over fabrics. 
So the third option is NVMe over TCP. This is analogous to uh, iSCSI as it provides NVMe storage connectivity over a standard TCP IP network. Now, performance won't be the best due to latency and software overhead, but this is likely to be the go-to option for those customers who use iSCSI today uh, and are, are looking for NVMe array connectivity uh, down the road. So, just like with SCSI storage, there are really only two transport options for NVMe over fabrics. FC NVMe over fiber channel and NVMe over TCP running on Ethernet. Now, OS support is good with both of these uh, where VMware and Linux uh, support either. And FC NVMe is also supported in Windows Server operating systems. From a storage perspective, all the Tier 1 storage providers have storage arrays today that support FC NVMe. Dell and Pure Storage are leading the way for NVMe over TCP solution support, and other vendors have NVMe over TCP on the roadmap as well. So we have to choose which approach is best for our customers. Let's dive into the performance characteristics of FC NVMe compared to NVMe over TCP. Here's a result of tests done at Marvell to show the efficiency of NVMe over fabric protocols. FC NVMe can uh, easily deliver high IOPS due to the efficiency of the offload technology built into Fiber Channel. Remember, Fiber Channel is fully offloaded with all the I.O. processing done in the HPA to provide direct memory access without server CPU intervention. NVMe over TCP, on the other hand, relies on server CPU and memory resources for I.O. processing and can't quite deliver the same level of IOPS performance as Fiber Channel. And from a latency perspective on the right, the same is true. Fiber Channel, with full offloads, delivers lower, which in this case is better, latency than NVMe over TCP. Another aspect of selecting an I.O. Uh, solution is what is the processing cost of the way that the protocol works. Now, to do this, you look at the CPU utilization under uh, full load. Now, the tests we ran were using a 32-core server running VMware ESX 7.0 U3 under heavy I.O. simulations. And you can see here in these charts that the Fiber Channel HBA running FC and VME was able to reach its full 32 gigabit per second bandwidth, while the 25 gig NIC was able to achieve only 20 gigabits per second running NVMe over TCP, not quite full line rate. Then you have to look at how much processing power is required to deliver these results. When comparing FC NVMe to NVMe over TCP, you see that the CPU utilization of FC NVMe is one third that of NVMe over TCP, while at the same time delivering 50% more bandwidth. What this means is that up to six CPU cores in our 32 core server are saved using FC NVMe when compared to NVMe over TCP due to the better efficiency. Again, why is Fiber Channel more efficient? Remember, it's fully hardware offloaded, whereas Ethernet technology, including NVMe over TCP and iSCSI, both use software initiators that require additional CPU resources for every I.O. transaction. Advantage to Fiber Channel is simplified integration of new NVMe technology along with older SCSI based technology. Typically, customers have an existing SCSI based environment and legacy storage always in production. They want to add more storage and are thinking about adding new, fast, native NVMe storage arrays, but they don't want to get rid of the old legacy arrays. The question is how does that integrate into the legacy environment? Well, in a word, Seamlessly. You see, Fiber Channel supports FC SCSI and FC NVMe on the same fabric, running concurrently on the same ports. QLogic HBAs utilize a unified driver. That's one driver that supports both FC SCSI and FC NVMe. Customers can add new NVMe native storage to an existing SAN without having to make any driver or firmware updates to the switches or the HPAs. All that's needed is to zone the new storage uh, resources into the fabric. Now with Ethernet, 
You can't really run iSCSI and NVMe over TCP concurrently at the port level. Adding in an NVMe over TCP storage array adds significant complexity to the SAN design, and this isn't an issue with FC NVMe. Also, Ethernet doesn't support device discovery and hardware like fiber channel SANs do. Storage vendors offer software solutions to simplify discovery of NVMe over TCP devices, but this software requires server resources and is just one more thing for administrators to manage. Again, it's stuff that's not required using Fiber Channel. Here's the portfolio of Fiber Channel adapters from QLogic that support FC NVMe with the unified driver today. These are all are supported in the Tier 1 OS environments and are compatible with the Fiber Channel over NVMe storage from the Tier 1 storage players like Dell EMC, HPE, Pure, NetApp, and IBM. So here are the key takeaways regarding the customer's transition to NVMe over fabrics. First, that transition is well underway with all Tier 1 storage vendors now offering native NVMe storage arrays connecting to NVMe over fabric networks. Second, Fiber Channel over NVMe, or FC NVMe, provides the best combination of performance, efficiency, and security with full hardware offload and a storage network that's not part of the corporate network. And finally, all QLogic 16, 32, and 64 gig Fiber Channel HBAs support FC NVMe in the latest operating systems with storage arrays from all these tier one vendors. And we utilize a unified driver to eliminate the need for host server driver updates when adding FC NVMe native storage to an existing environment. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found the information useful. For more information, go to www.marvell.com slash QLogic to find out details on Marvell and QLogic Fiber Channel HPA technology. And be sure to check out the other Follow the Wire videos on the Marvell YouTube channel. Thanks for your time and attention, and I hope you have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.